Right. I've got a job to install an extra socket in this new build, right? I've had a look. It looks like a 1.5 mil armoured from there. I mean, that's a terrible bit of cutting out there by the patio, guys. Fucking hell. Make it any bigger? Round to a box on the back of the house. And I have looked and I cannot find a fuse square at all in the house anywhere. And the homeowners looked, they're not aware of one, and I have looked everywhere, every inch, and I cannot find a fuse connection unit for the garage, right? It's a 1.5 mm cable, and you flick off the second floor sockets, and it turns off the supply to the garage. It's fucking wild. Anyway, so somewhere, it obviously spurs off of the second floor socket to the house, right? Comes up the armored cable, and it obviously feeds through that, uh, that fuse connection unit to feed the socket, because the socket is on regardless of the fuse spur. That's just for the lights. So I started. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run the cable around and drop a, do a conduit drop, but I'm not gonna connect any, everything up, anything up, sorry, um, until that's resolved, which off the top of my head, I think perhaps I could install a fuse spur maybe where the box is. Like, cause 1.5 mil um, armored cable will take 30 amps, so I might put a fuse connection unit, an IP weatherproof one, on the back of the house where that box is. There, because it's a 2.5 mil off the sp obviously spurred off of the unfused, off of the second floor ring circuit. Right, I'm back here today to fit. A couple of hives. Now I'll be honest, of all the things I do, this isn't my strong point. Um, just never really did it. Um, the job roles that I that I had haven't really done it since I've been self-employed, so it's not really a strong point. I understand the principle; it's all just switching, but it's never really. You know, I always don't know a little bit in my head. Always worries. Oh, I don't want to leave the customer without heating or hot water. So these modern newfangled wireless bits and bobs always I don't know, concern me rather than the regular switching on, switching off of a, you know, directly wired connection you know, and stat and stuff. Anyway, do that, almost done. Swapping both the stats out. And then you probably saw my story the other week, that garage, which was supplied off of the, uh, off of the ring final circuit with a 1.5 armored. So I'm gonna put a fuse spur, <coughs> fuse connection unit just over there, a few sketching it where the junction box is. Um, all my gears aren't there ready, just gonna finish off this stack first. And then I'll connect up the socket that I installed, I first fixed last week, and I will second fix it now. Once I do that fuse connection unit, then I'll be happy because it's a two and a half mil in that junction box. I imagine it's from that socket there. Um, and then it's one and a half mil from the armored cable round, which does a spur socket and now a new socket. So. Let's get this hive set up and running and then go and do those, do that, do that um, fuse spur. <laughs> 